Hi, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, giving you your truth for the week. In five minutes or less, I'm going to help you put feet to your face so that you can walk victoriously. You're absolutely right. You're getting the application to the message. And we were talking about the lion's den. So this week, how to survive the lion's den. That's right. The first thing that you're going to do is to communicate effectively. In other words, we've got to pray. We want to be able to communicate and talk with God. We want to be able to be consistent in our prayer. Like we're not going to shut it down because we're in the heat of the moment. We're not going to stop it because we're in a specific scene, but we don't judge and we allow God to then reveal. In our communication, we're not telling God all about our troubles. Yes, we do that too, but we're listening because it's a two-way street. And we also want to then Pray the promises of God. God, let me remind you of what you said in your word. I want to stand on these, so I need to remember what those are. That means I'm praying, but I'm praying scripture. The second thing that we're going to do in the middle of this season is we're going to trust. That's right. We need to trust him. We need to know that God is going to take care of it. We can't do everything, but we have to trust and submit to who he is. So we're going to write down other people's testimonies, other people's stories, because we realize then that God is not a respecter of persons, but he loves us just as much as he loved them too. So we communicate effectively, but then we trust because we trust their testimonies. All right. And that is going to help us get to that other side. We're applying the scripture. But the third thing that we're going to do is rest. We're going to rest in his character. That's right. We need to decree and declare the outcome. We declare that God said that the weapons may form, but they will not prosper. We decree and we declare it. We hold fast to it until it starts manifesting. So we're going to communicate effectively. We're going to trust him in his, in his character, but we're also going to then rest in who he is. Because see that rest summarizes all of it. It says that we have to remember what he's done. We looked at the testimonies. We looked at his promises. We remember what he's done, but he evaluates what we can do because faith without works is dead. So whatever my part is, whatever I need to change, I can do that in my rest. And then S, I need to stand on his promises. Remember I said, I got to know what those promises are so that I can stand upon them. And then T, I can trust in his goodness, trust in his faithfulness, trust in his mercy, trust him because he is God. Five minutes or less, you're going to get there. This is your truth for the week. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week. And don't forget, put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Hi, thanks for listening and watching. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that notification button so you'll know the next time there's a new episode. Listen, as a result of my coaching program, my clients have experienced a calming of the emotional roller coaster. They have a compelling future, as well as the confidence and the know how to achieve it. And they have clarity on the financial tools that they need in order to live life on their terms and save tens of thousands of dollars. I'm looking for women who are devastated by the double D's, divorce or debt, who want to gain confidence to live life on their terms with peace and financial security. My question is, who do you know? Have them go ahead and book a call with me so that we can get to that compelling future. My heart may be broke, but your bank account doesn't have to be. You can find us online at h, the number two, htruth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.